Yo, so I'm at the base here in Tarsus and I've got uh, people to speak to. Um, also, got missions and contracts. I did a couple of contracts in the last video or two. But, uh, let's have, look, I've uh, obviously upgraded my suit. I did a lot of free roaming as well, so my suit looks pretty cool now. And I've got some much better weapons. I've got a sniper rifle and a light machine gun, which is awesome. Shit, batteries are low. Where's my plan charge? God damn it, I'm sore. I just charged this motherfucker a minute ago. Oh. Xbox One X. USB port in the front there. Right, let's go and talk to some peeps. Let's see what he has to say. So many things you are doing. Wonderful. I'm curious. What do you remember most? Good times? Bad? What? Honest now. The best days stick with me. The wins. That's what life is about. Yes? Long time ago, I was out near the dawn gates. Stars were very bright. Rain made everything glow. I heard a sound. So strange. Couldn't place it. What was it? Children, alone, out in the jungle, far from anything. They were singing. Children? How did they? You see, how could I understand this? A strider had been attacked. I brought them home. It was a miracle. Music started. Dancing started. Saving a bunch of kids. That's a good day. Yes, yes, a good day. But one of those children, a stranger, was holding his hand his parents died aboard that strider we should represent hope but there are two sides to our job when i celebrate my victories with great joy i know that somewhere there is sadness too that must wear you down no it makes my conviction stronger what we do matters i don't know hard way to live oh isn't easy Lost and alone, yet those children sang. I like this game has a lot of backstory and it has a good world where you, and it's fleshed out with these chats and all documents that you pick up. It's pretty mad. No contracts. So let's have a look at the map. What's wrong with the analog? Anyway, still saying we can talk to him. Ah, uh, freelancer. I'm finishing up a few stories for the wall. This a bad time? No, no, good time. <laughs> The task is better with company. Is he going to give us a contract or anything? The wall of Freemark, but it's a good start. Why do you do this? The wall, the stories, all of it. For the history books? <laughs> I'm not that vain. Well, not about these things. You never saw the Grand Wall, eh? Oh, people came from every corner of Bastion to see it. They read our stories. They believed in us. People haven't changed. They'll see the work being done and come around. Of course they will. <laughs> uh, what is it? My friend, the one I lost, I can hear him doubting us both. He could be a stormy sky. Uh, but I could make him laugh, huh? You said he was a freelancer? Yes, Garnet. Freelancer Garnet. I helped him pick that call sign, you know. It fit. He had a bad start. But survived it all. Oh, tough, that one. But one rainy day, he didn't come home. What happened? I don't know. Not all of it. Not where he fell. You see, I have his name. But not his story. This pains me. 
He was a freelancer. We all know the risks. Yes, it's true. We all do. It's just, his story is incomplete. Is that why you send me out there? In part. No freelancer should fall without their story being told. Maybe one day, you bring his story back. Uh, waiting on a few reports just now. So... So we've got one guy to speak to south and if we go west we've got more people to speak to and missions lucky jack keeping busy you know it just had a contract dealing with scars i show up and they're messing with a relic good thing some buddies jump on the call we've got elemental swarming Scars everywhere, then a love-struck Korox shows up. What happened? Teamwork, fancy flying, and one heck of a lucky shot. Next thing I know, the relic's silent, the Korox has a new friend, and we come out all right. Starting to see where you got the nickname. It could have gone straight sideways, I'm telling you, but that's what family's for. Stronger together, right? It's the best way to survive. Nice to have company, too. More eyes, more ears. I'm more witnesses when you do something awesome. Like dealing with love-struck Koroks. It's not something you forget. Just was scheduling the next job was easy. Was there a problem? My buddies and I thought we'd team up on another contract. Last one went well, so why not, right? Now they can't agree which job to take. I just want something logged in the pending contracts report. And what are your options? An Arcanist looking for a lost vault. Gotta love some mystery. Or the fort needs people to take on hostile wildlife. Guaranteed action there. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the creatures out there keeps you sharp. Makes the fort safer, too. That's what we're here for, isn't it? I'm all for that. All right, buddy. Using you as the tiebreaker. Wish me luck. I'm not sure you need it. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you around. Hey, stop by, all right? Should be close to doing the next story mission. I learned that one the hard way. Hey, freelancer! Hey. I can't believe I'm talking to you. You're like the most badass freelancer in Fort Tarsus. My name's Neeson. Hello. Hey, aren't you teamed up with that cipher, Owen? Yeah, why? Yet yeah, no reason. I just thought you might be concerned about that cipher school thing of his. What are you talking about? Okay, all right, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard he got over-altered during his training. Over-altered? Yeah, I guess it glitched him up pretty bad. What are you talking about? Well, I can't say for sure, but that's what people are saying, and you gotta admit, Owen is a little goofy. No, he's not. Yeah, no, I don't think so either. I'm just telling you what I heard. Thanks, but that kind of information isn't useful. Yeah, I get it. You already knew. But if you ever need any info on anyone else in the fort, I'm pretty plugged in. Yeah, no thanks. No need to close that door. I, let's just agree to maybe meeting in the future. Or let's not. Yeah, I got you. Catch you later. Nice buddy. Detective Hops Mysteries. The Detective Hops Mysteries is a radio serial featuring the exploits of Sentinel Quincy and his partner. A grabbit named Detective Hops. Oh, okay. It's like a radio drama. I'll read those after I've uh, finished the video. I forgot there's going to be loads of stuff to flesh out uh, the world.
We look at the map again. I don't know why it keeps doing that. It's like glitched. So we are here. Let's go chat to some people. Another radio. Buckets are more dangerous than people realize. I told him not to take next strain lightly. Thank you. For what? For stepping close so you don't impede foot traffic. You we were off to the side, so it seemed to make sense. My apologies. I assumed you would recognize me from one of my public safety forums. Sorry, I was not aware those were happening. My name is Pernal Blatch, and I'm the Fort Custodian. I maintain and improve all public works and spaces. Sounds like a big job. It's enormous. I'm seeking public input on an initiative to improve life in Fort Tarsus. Would you care to take part? I might. Excellent. Please answer the following questions. Huh. Do you A, believe the fort needs immediate improvements to function more efficiently, or B, recognize the fort has glaring inefficiencies that must be corrected? Aren't those statements both the same? No. One suggests immediate action, and the other identifies issues, then proposes solutions. I'm not sure the fort wants to change. The fort must change. It's unsafe in so many ways. Take the walking issue, for example. Did you say walking? Yes. People walk and stop wherever they please. This causes stoppages, bumping, and even pedestrian rage. I'm proposing we implement lanes and foot traffic rules of way. I guess it would make walking here more efficient. It will. It's just a matter of applying rewards and punishment to ensure compliance. There will be some resistance, but I've run into that before. Where at? The fountain in the courtyard. People said we didn't need it, but now I'm spearheading the campaign to restore it. How does a fountain make the fort more efficient? The fountain creates a meeting place and instills pride in the community. Happy people are more productive. Is the fountain working? Not at the moment. There's a piping issue. It was nice chatting with you. I'm off to a meeting regarding proper personal equipment in the forge area. Good luck with that. Thank you. It's not easy keeping this fort safe. Whatever, buddy. Well, let's check all this other side now for any items. Hey, you're a freelancer, right? I've heard things about you. What kind of things? Some of the arcanists said you stopped a cataclysm. Or a giant ursix? Or both? That was me, yeah. It was uh, kind of both. Interesting. You're one to watch. I don't want to say too much just yet, but be mindful. A lot of eyes will be on you soon. What does that mean? It means this is the time to show what you're made of. You've got a contract for me. I'm happy to hear it. Not a contract, exactly. Have you ever heard of the path to glory? It's like a ranking of Lancers, right? That's not all it is. There are certain rewards offered to those on the path. Rewards offered by who, exactly? The Emperor. Put yourself on the path, Freelancer. What you do will matter, I promise. All right, buddy. Let's see if we've got any collectibles here. Look at this weirdo in the alleyway. So he's taking a piss. Looks like this is your lucky day. Why's that? You just bumped into the oldest man in Fort Tarsis. Name's Jarek. Nice to meet you. You too. You know, you don't live as long as I have without seeing some things. Yeah? Like what? I was there when the scars swarmed the fort's terraces. It was a bloodbath. Happened over 50 years ago and it feels like yesterday. I was also there when the scars came over the walls. What do you think about that? I think you've seen a lot. You bet I have. More than you ever will, that's for sure. Oh my god.
You don't even know me. Why would you assume that? Because my life has been filled with nothing but bloodshed and disaster. I've survived strider ambushes, dominion attacks and outlaws. I've even run from wyverns. I've seen enough death the last 50 lifetimes. And yet, somehow, I'm still kicking. So what's your secret to survival? It ain't no secret. I'm a pragmatist. I always did what I had to in order to survive. Sounds like you made some tough choices. You tell me. I was in a mining crew digging for ore near Helios when the main shaft collapsed. We were trapped behind a solid wall of rock. We had no idea of how long it would take for the rescue party to dig us out. I was lucky enough to find a bottle of water. But there were six of us. One bottle of water for six miners? How many of you made it out? I was the only survivor. Why were you the only survivor? If I'd have shared that water, nobody would have lived. So you chose to let five people die to save yourself? I told you, I'm a pragmatist. I guess that's why you're the oldest man at Fort Tarsus. Don't you judge me. You've seen death. You've done things. I could see it in your eyes. It's usually a glint of sadness or knowledge, but in some people, that glint turns into a gleam. And a gleam? means they want to see more death. Be careful, Freelancer. I still see a glint in your eyes. Alright, buddy. Whatever you say. Getting more collectibles, exploring. Let's have a look what we've got ahead of us. Agent mission, two missions and people to speak to. We're going to speak to these people first. Okay, that leads out from the contract board. And speak to those other people and then we'll move on to a mission. A bar. You must be Rife. Yaro said I'd find you here. Yeah, you're the one who flew in with a hail of bullets and flaming glory. Correct, that was me. Well, right on, big star. That was something to see. Backed up into that tunnel, trying to keep those arcanists ticking. It got tense. I mean, I was looking forward to using Nelly on those cockroaches. Nelly? My sword helps me perform my community service. Figured she saved my butt so many times. She should get a name. Well, you seem to be recovering nicely. I got two working fists. One for punching, one for drinking. That's all I need. So, I'm guessing you're here to stay. You've been keeping to yourself, but I've seen you around. There's work, yeah. I get the impression business is picking up. Been tough for a while. 
couple of weeks, I was barely scraping by. But man, there's nothing like being a freelancer, right? So hey, thanks for showing up when you did. I owe you one. Glad it worked out. Anyway, I'm probably still bleeding somewhere. Should get that fixed. I'll see you around, big star. Got more stuff to pick up and people to talk to. I'll talk to that bird in a minute. I'm just having a look round. So there's anything else to pick up. So we should go and talk to that chick. Well, I know you. You're the hot shot who silenced that shaper thing, yeah? Word travels fast. I keep an ear to the ground. Best way to stay alive out here. Maxine. Call me Max. Welcome to my bar. You're the owner? Am now. Got it off Dusty in a game of cards. Pretty sure he threw that hand. You really think he'd bet his entire bar and throw the hand? In a heartbeat. If he ever had a heart to begin with. Dusty managed to lose the deed to his bar and his shirt and the very next morning headed out of town. Only he didn't make it. Oh, hold up a second. What happened to the last owner? He was on a strider to Antium with the governor and it went down. Some say accident, some say a hit. Nobody made it back and the black box went missing. You think Dusty was the target? Or the governor? Dusty owed a lot to the wrong people, but dead men don't pay their debts. The governor? Not really worth the trouble, you know what I mean? Dusty's not the only owner to die in glitch circumstances, just the latest. People think this place is cursed. So the bar is cursed. Great. Now I've got enough trouble as it is. You'll be fine. It only gets owners and dine and dashes. And I may be lying about the last one. You're doing good work around here, freelancer. I'll get you a tab. First one's on the house. And if there's something you need, maybe I know some people. We'll see. OK? Fair enough, lady. Fair enough. Right. We've got two agent missions now. So we just go straight and turn right. Keeps doing that. Oh, yeah, we've got this new section over here. I didn't even bother checking. We need to go that way, so I'll check this way first. Again, I keep pressing uh, select instead of start or whatever it is. I'm going to do this other mission first if we can get to it. Oh yeah, this guy, I forgot, totally forgot. My savior, and the reason scars aren't feasting on my liver right this minute. Bloody scars, the spike in their activity has really thrown off my research. What are you working on exactly? I'm looking for a lost arcanist text known as the Elysian Manuscript. It was inscribed by early members of our order and has been lost for generations. Some arcanists believe that their writings could help us predict the behavior of Shaper instruments. 
Imagine knowing Ferelic will create firestorms, or scorpions, or shatter you into a thousand pieces. We could keep people safe. Indeed. Every little piece of knowledge we can scrape together helps. You're making progress? The heroic work done by my assistants, may they continue to seek answers beyond this life, led to a discovery. Turns out there was a far more ingenious way to pass knowledge along. Invisible runes. Invisible? Runes, yes. How do I... Aha, I picked your curiosity. You'll just have to continue on this adventure to find out, won't you? Oh yeah, I remember we saved this guy in one of the other videos. Has revealed a potential so this is called See in the Dark. Questions. Just point me in the right direction. Arcanism of Fires has made a discovery on his quest to find the Elysian Manuscript. He has located a site which may hold the answers to the secret system of writing used by ancient Arcanists. Investigate the site to get one step closer to the manuscript. So, see in the dark, uncover clues to Arcanist runes. Keep it as private. Right, here we go. In Arcanist Matthias. So how did you learn about where we're headed? From very old field notes. There was something the writer wasn't saying. Something important they didn't write down. I'm certain of it. So you had a hunch. A hypothesis. Right. What secrets must they hold? Let's find out. Just looking for like some minerals or whatever you call it. Where are we going? Oh, here. Monsters, look. Here we are. This will be difficult at night. What am I looking for? A marker of some type, something other archivists can recognize. Got ya. No minerals to pick up or anything, any plants. light machine gun and a sniper. Oh, here we go. That's what I was looking for. Stuff to harvest. There's a low hum of power. I'm sure it's here. Some very aggressive wolves that have taken up residence. Please, clear them out. Yeah, I can do. the other ones
creatures. All right, let's find that marker. There, yes. Unusual design. Hmm. I've seen this before. It won't trigger whether the right stimulus. Which is what? A shift in energy. We create a big enough change, the wire's detected, the marker triggers. Like a fire alarm? Exactly. That shaper object across from the marker is made for echoes. Got it. Let's build a fire. Where the hell are they? Where the hell are they? Required. This site was chosen to make this task difficult. They just needed archivists working with freelancers. Of course. You need to carry free at the time, I think. The moment I realized the great need for secrecy in our history, it opened up new ways to look at the research I already had. Go get him.
got some scars. We should be close. Take all these motherfuckers out. Carry three at a time. So I need to go and drop these off. I'll come back and get those.
Always stop and get the minerals. Get the other one that's locked up now. And that's free, so I can go and take him back. Yes, Mark guy. Good. The energy is shifting. Need some more. Go. Eggs everywhere, like alien or something.
Ares. Can't pick up any more, so we got to go back to the objective and hand them in. I think there'll be one more to get after this. Yeah, one more. God, this one's quite far away. There's no resistance here. No enemies. It's too easy. Ooh, look what we found. Let's head out. Man, that's nuts. Looks amazing. Go. That's done it. The marker's been triggered. The Arcanist fire alarm. Precisely. This should be a piece of piss.
something like that. Shield myself from these assholes. Loads of them. Activate the Arcanist marker. Let's see what the Arcanist has left for us. Exactly, let's see what it does. What's happening? What are those? Quickly now. Find all you can before they disappear. Those are runes, my capable associate. Invisible runes. But I can see them. Just for the moment. This energy surge won't last. Got it. Very strange energy signature. So, runes, what are they? Secret writing. A technique lost and forgotten. I think the key to my work was right in front of me. You got it? I did. Oh dear, the energy is starting to fluctuate. Does that mean hurry? Yes. That's all we're gonna get. Ah, should be enough. I have an idea how to find more of these in the future. Do you think they'll help? Yes, I'll explain when we get back to Fort Tarsus, but first... Thank you. These runes hold the key to finding the Elysian Manuscript. I'm certain. Mission complete. Nice. Regular stores opened in Fort Tarsus. Consumable blueprints. Right, so we're back in Fort Tarsus now. Return to Matthias in Fort Tarsus. Right. So, let's have a look at the map. Got a couple of peeps to go and speak to as well. Oh 
Oh yeah, he's in this little back room here. Freelancer? Freelancer, yes, excellent, you're here. Matthias, uh, need something? Need something? Oh, no, no, no. Have something. You remember that strange energy the runes emitted? I remember you mentioning something while I collected them. I managed to isolate and identify the energy pattern. I passed it along to your cipher. Who can now help me find those invisible runes? Which are the key to unlocking another impenetrable mystery. Which means you want me to go find more of them. Yes, the more the better. With enough, I'm certain I can find the location of the Elysian Manuscript. Certain. I have several leads. It's very promising. Talk later. You got it, Matthias. So that's seeing the dark done, so...